Yes, Arizona also has volcanoes, two active volcanoes. This is uh, on InfoBarrel by Tano Calveona. Sunset Crater. It's a beautiful cinder cone in the San Francisco volcanic field. It erupted between 1050 and 1100 AD. It's the most recent eruption from this volcanic field. Can you imagine? All right, San Francisco. This volcanic, volcanic field, this Pacific cinder cone likely will not erupt again, although a volcanic field underneath is expected to erupt again in a location east of this. The location is a national monument. Arizona's volcanoes each last erupted about 900 years ago. The state of Arizona has two volcanic fields. They meet the most commonly used definition of an active volcano. Geologists most typically define active, quote unquote, as any volcano that has erupted in the past 10,000 years and is thought likely to erupt again. Even though Arizona's active volcanoes have not erupted in approximately 900 years, this is a very short amount of time geologically, and they are each expected by geologists to erupt again someday. Nobody knows when it will happen, of course. Now, Arizona volcano number one of two is Incaret. This is Vulcan's throne at the northern edge of the Grand Canyon. A cinder cone is part of the Uincaret volcanic field. Black lava flows that came from this volcano can clearly be seen flowing over the edge of the canyon. And this occurred about 73,000 years ago. Does that remind you of anything? Well, we had an eruption about 70,000 years ago of the supervolcano of Yellowstone. It was a smaller eruption than the bigger one, the latest one that was 640,000 years ago, thank goodness. But you had a lot of activity in this area. You even had the Vallis, called the, the Vallis um, volcano about 550 miles south of Yellowstone that erupted around that time. And you also had the Long Valley Caldera, caldera that erupted around that time. So there must have been a lot of activity going around, uh, taking place in volcanic uh, eruptions and activity around 70,000 years ago. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you. So going back to this, located north of the Grand Canyon in the northwestern corner of the state, it's one of the two active volcanoes in Arizona. The other, as we mentioned, is the San Francisco volcanic field near the city of Flagstaff, Arizona. This volcanic field has more than 200 cinder cones and associated lava flows. The highest of the volcano is Mount Trumbull. It's also the oldest, having come into existence about what they estimate 3.6 million years ago. The most intensive activity happened between 500,000 and 600,000 years ago during the Pleistocene epoch. 600 years ago, the last Yellowstone supervolcano eruption was about 640,000 years ago, the big one that is. And the most recent eruption occurred here about 1,000 years ago. Some of the lava flows went over the edge of the Grand Canyon and at times blocked the Colorado River. 
The dams have since eroded, of course, although some of these features remain from lava flows within the canyon draping over the walls of the canyon. The most recent eruption originated from two vents only two miles south of Mount Trumbull and a large pool of lava spread both to the north and south. Only the southwestern portion of the cinder cone remains as most of it was destroyed in the eruption that occurred about uh, the last eruption 1,100 years ago, 1,100 AD. Another famous cinder cone in this volcanic field located near the edge of Grand Canyon is Vulcan's Throne. The chain of volcanic fields began, began here and extended northward up to Utah. Now the second Arizona volcano, the second of the two, San Francisco. Arizona's San Francisco peaks in the winter. The tallest peak is Mount Humphreys and it is the highest elevation point in the state. This is an ancient extinct stratovolcano and is associated with still active San Francisco volcanic field nearby. And of course, this is the beautiful image of it, as you can see. The volcanic field associated with stratovolcano believed to be extinct and no longer a possibility for an eruption. It's often referred to as the San Francisco Peaks and includes the highest point in Arizona, Humphreys Peak, elevation of 12,633 feet. Sunset Crater Volcanic National Monument and its main attraction, Sunset Crater, is the site of the most recent eruption from the volcanic field about 1,500 to 1,100 AD, and Sunset Crater itself is at 8,042 feet, standing about 1,100 feet above the surrounding area. From the several hundred volcanoes in the area, hundred volcanoes in the area, the most the next most recent eruption by a volcano other than the Sunset Crater was, there we go again, 71,000 years ago. This was around the time that Yellowstone erupted, the smaller of the big eruptions. Okay, so you can imagine that this area was really hopping and really, really boiling. The Sunset Crater Volcano Mo National Monument. Uh, visitors can go, of course, and take hikes around the base, even though hiking to the summit is not permitted. And uh, the park entrance is about 15 miles from the city of Flagstaff, Arizona, on Highway 89. The volcanic field typically erupted every few thousand years, expected to erupt again someday, although no one, of course, knows precisely when. The geologists uh, from USGS have said that when an eruption does occur, it may be farther east as the North American plate slowly moves over what is believed to be a hot spot underneath and that sunset crater itself will not likely ever erupt again. This is on Info Barrel. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Capota, and we also help the young generation with 
university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.